Good morning, everyone at City Church. What a, well, I was gonna say what a beautiful day, but the weather has changed. My hat is on, my coat is on, um, but now we can go out once a day. If you're shielding, you can go out once a day. So I'm gonna make the most of every time I get to go out. Um, so, but today on Church News, we have uh, Stevia and Trish talking about uh, what they've been getting up to uh, with their home church in Zimbabwe. It's an unbelievable story, it's so good. Um, and I'm just gonna pass over now to Julia, who's going to have a chat with them. Hi, Stevia and Trish, really nice to see you. Are you doing okay? Yes, yes Julia, Hi, how are you? <laughs> yeah, very good, thank you. Um, so I thought it would be great to ask you a little bit about a project that you've been working on. Um, I hear that you have been organising um, getting food to people in your home church back in Zimbabwe who are in need. Can you yeah. tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, thank you, Julia. So we, we got to know about a few people from a WhatsApp group who were in desperate need for food. So we got in touch with this local pastor who then got the numbers because like 80% of his congregation are informally employed, which basically means hand to mouth, you know, living hand to mouth right. and no savings as such. And also back in Zimbabwe, there's no food bank like there is here. Okay. So when I need when they don't have food they actually do not have food and they would rely on relatives and things like that so after we got initially we thought oh there were about 15 people from the whatsapp group but then we got more numbers from the uh from this local pastor that came up to 55 so we then decided we were going to work with 60. okay so we basically sent a, an informal message on through our WhatsApp contacts and just to friends and, and, and family to ask for donations, which was really kind for people to take this up, you know, and trust us that we were going to do what we said we were going to do with yeah. it. Um, we also had a few people from Derby City Church actually contributing, donating to the cause, nice. which was grateful for. So initially, then we raised just below a thousand pounds for the wow. yes for the sixty families. Uh, we also might, we were working with one the financial director from the food production company, so they were very generous as well because they donated sixty bags of maize meal, which is the staple food in Zimbabwe. Okay. So then that meant our money could buy more of the food hampers, which constituted of cooking oil, uh, flour, rice, sugar, and the like. Uh, and for a standard family, small family with, uh, you know, parents and two kids, that the hamper should go up to uh, two weeks. Okay. Yes. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. It's incredible that you managed to do that. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so have you got plans to do any more? Well, so we, you know, so after the first distribution, more people came up and in fact, these ones are people who are based in what we call the rural areas in Zimbabwe, which is outside, villages basically outside of the cities. And they constitute more of grandmothers, you know, grandparents looking after their orphan grandchildren so wow. really they are in more desperate need yeah and there were hundreds of them so hundred families that we now needed to supply food to um so again we went back and this time we're thinking oh how do we revamp this so we kind of advertised on facebook because we wanted to you know reach out to a wider community uh, and we again, we got quite a good response from that. Wow. So this time we raised up to 1,800 pounds. Oh my goodness. So we were very grateful for that. And um, we managed again to buy, to, to supply hampers to 130 families. 
uh, and again, this company, the food production company, donated uh, 130 of the maize of the bags. Wow. Yes. Um, and then the, the pastor, uh, Apostle Shoko, really was very, very good. You know, he, he worked diligently on the ground. And again, we, we bought this directly from the company. So he arranged transport and went to pick up the, the hampers, which made it a bit more um, convenient and efficient. Sure. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. Gosh, that's, that's an incredible number of people that you've been, you know, able to supply food to hasn't it yeah yeah so have you got, got plans for the future what, what's next in your entrepreneurial <laughs> work um we were trying to think of more ways that we can make this sustainable in the future so that we're not just relying on donations um and also so that the beneficiaries can have something that's sustainable for themselves as well and not just have food for two weeks and continue to be in the same position. So what's we've planned, how we can do that more, we'll let you know. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, look forward to it. Oh, that's, that's really great. So thank you so much for sharing with us. It's been really good to hear all about that. It's such good news. Thank, thank you. you for having us, Julia. Yeah. Brilliant. See you again soon. Bye. See you. Bye. 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 Thanks, Debbie. Thanks, Trish, so much for speaking to us. Um, if you have a story that you would like to share with the rest of the church, um, please email me, media at derbycitychurch.co.uk and um, we'll be in touch. It would be great to just share and encourage others in the church during this time. Um, so that's it from us today, from a slightly soggier Sarah than when I started. Um, I'll, Hope to see you next week and let's pray for some sunshine. <laughs>